Hey everyone, I'm Chris Tronson, sitting down with a lovely Anna Hunt. Do you go by Anna or Annie? Whatever you want to call me, Anna Banana. I, I like Anna because Hannah Anna rhymes. Yeah. It, it kind of works better. It works out perfect. Now we are sitting here in Los Angeles. So first I have to ask, you know, you're obviously living out in Texas. What have you thought of LA so far? I know you just came from the MTV studios. You've been on Santa Monica. How are you loving um, Hollywood now? Well, I'm actually from, from California. California. And so, um, you know, I've been in the area quite a bit, but it feels good. It feels like I'm home. Yeah. Cause you know, that was, that was one of the thing a lot of people say, they're like, how is it Texas woman? But she's from California, but you live in, you know, Texas now and you've adopted mm -hmm. Texas as kind of your hometown right now. Um, I feel extremely comfortable in Texas. Um, I know a lot of people and for like my bulls, uh, that's, that's where the business happens. So that I feel home there. You know, the people are amazing in yeah. Texas, Fort Worth specifically. Um, you know, there's just something about it that's just special. And it's, there's, I can rope, I can ride and have, it's, it's like my Disneyland. And what is that experience like being around? I mean, obviously when people think of the job that you do, they think of some six foot two, like big mm -hmm. Southern man. And then they see you walking in with your heels, your hair and everything. How do you get reacted? And you know, how, how have you been able to show that on the show? Um, kind of what you do and introduce that as a as a female who does it well I think that if you were to close your eyes and I could talk to any other stock contractor we're gonna say the same thing we've got a passion for the sport you know the professional bull riders and these these animals they're family yeah. um, and the bulls don't care if I'm a girl yeah it doesn't but as long as that um, the animals are quality so that these guys can draw one of my bulls and you know win a go round be 90 points so as long as I bring quality animals, I'll get treated like just as a man would. And the show's doing really well. You know, you have this life, which isn't, you know, when you, it's very hands-on gritty, but then you think of, you know, reality shows, they owe, you know, actress and, and models. Of, what drew you to this and why did you decide to do the show? I feel so lucky to do what I do. Um, I think that a lot of people, you're sitting in the middle of LA and, you don't get to see a ranch and be around animals and this country lifestyle. And I think a lot of people would love to be involved with it. So I definitely want to be on the show and I'm honored to do it. Um, but people get to have a little, have an hour of being a country girl, Yeah. you know, a Texas woman. And what do you think Texas is, is attracting so much? Because obviously, you know, you guys are right after Sweet Home Alabama, which isn't Texas. It's the South, though. And it seems like people have a big fascination with the big hair and everything's bigger in Texas. What do you think about it really draws people to, to the show? Um, I think that Texas in general is kind of, there's some kind of romance about it. There's something that it's, it's almost, it's a character. And so I think that people won't be able, you know, They'd love to be in that in the country and and relax and be wholesome and and you know I just think that people it like I said before it's it's like my Disneyland you get to do and be a cowboy I mean there's there's guys walking around constantly with boots you know starch jeans and looking like somebody cowboy <laughs> hats and yeah. you know it doesn't matter you can be in the middle of New York and having that naked cowboy you know everybody everybody'd like to be with a cowboy and. We have to talk, of course, about Miss Hannah, who's in the room with us. You girls were not BFFs when you first started, at least the first episode. You were not BFFs, but now you live together. Um, what did you see in her? Because obviously, you know, there was some tension at first. What did you see in her that you figured, like, we're going to live together, we're going to be homegirls, like, we're going to be close? Hannah is, like, the kindest, sweetest person. Like, when I'm around her, I feel like a million bucks. She's always, oh, I love this jacket. You look so pretty. <laughs> you know, I mean, she's the kindest person. And, um, you know, I don't have very many girlfriends, but when she's so genuine and I just, she got a hold of me. And you, you've kind of played almost the role of like an older sister because you're, you're kind of like you need to get, you know, kind of grow up and mature a little bit. Let's talk about Miss Brooke, who seems fascinated with Hannah and her life. Um, and you kind of have been sticking up for her and stuff. What do you think, um, Brooke's issue with Hannah is? You know, I think that Brooke just really, she loves Hannah. And um, I think that she's like controlling and she has her opinion and that's, that's fine and dandy, but um, she's just, she needs to mind her business. <laughs>
to stay out of it. Yeah. And, you know, the show's doing really well, but we still have some more episodes and we have all the rest of April, oh, sorry, August. And, you know, we want people to start watching it. What, um, if somebody's not watching it right now, what is something about the show that they, why do they absolutely have to tune in? They have to watch this because we are so, we are four women that are in an industry, if we don't do it for for ourselves, nobody will ever do it for us. Yeah. And so we're vo we're all four strong individuals. And um, I just, I hope to inspire people to work hard and don't take no for an answer. And is it hard because anytime you're doing a regional show, like, you know, people automatically assume like you think you're representing all of Texas. Right. So there's a lot of people that are like, oh, da da da, and saying certain signs of stuff. How do you answer that back uh, when people are like, that's not what Texas is all about? Well, you know, number one, it's called Texas Women. It could have been called Country Divas. It, it could have been whatever. Um, and there are so many flavors of the rainbow, you know, and um, I think that you got to just dive in deep and, and find that we all have this passion and like it or not, you know, we, uh, we've got drive and determination. So, you know, I don't think that there's a specific Texas woman. Um, there's, there's a lot of uh, very strong-willed women in Texas. And without giving away too much, is there anything that um, exciting coming up in the next couple of episodes that people have to definitely tune into? Yes. Um, I'm a single girl and kind of dating, and um, we keep on bucking bulls. And, you know, the other girls and stuff, their their careers and stuff are going off. And, gosh, it's it's going to be it, we, a lot of tears. Aww. A lot of tears. So. You, if they asked you to come back season two, would you be down, all four of you girls? I would. I'd love to to do another another season and buck more bulls and rope more and play harder and, and um is there any rumors that you've read that you want to clear up or that you're just absolutely like come on like this is ridiculous well like in the first episode i felt so bad because i meant to say i'm one of few women that yeah. are because there are people like um mesa pate and kirsten bold i mean there's women in the industry that are doing the same thing so i felt really bad because i didn't mean to cut them short yeah, you yeah. know i more the merrier. And then lastly, have you ever rode a bull just like in high heels? Okay. Um, I was in Phoenix, Arizona and uh, went to a KISS concert. And then downstairs there was a mechanical bull, you know? Yeah, and works. this guy begged me, like the guy that with the joystick, you know, begged me to get on him. I said, no, I don't ride the bulls. I raise them. Come on, come on. Well, I had enough. <laughs> brewskis in me and um, I said well you have to carry me out there so he carried me out there he wrote or I wrote it and it couldn't buck me off and I'm like yep enough the broke nail <laughs> so they had to carry me back off and get to their side so I rode a mechanical bull okay, that that's works. it lastly tell everybody was, you know fabulous really tight jeans and, and heels <laughs> and everything yeah and tell everybody lastly where they can catch a show of course and and you know, sell it. Tell them they have to see it. CMT, Thursday nights, 9 Central. You can't miss it. I follow you on Twitter, right? Yes, Annie Hunt uh, on Twitter, and then also have Facebook, and um, Texas Women has uh, their own Facebook. And, um, yeah, follow us. We're, we're always, you know, getting dirty and sweaty. All right, much love. Well, thank you so much, Annie Hunt from CMT's Texas Women.